with the release of Final Cut Pro for iPad, Apple also included one very good feature in their effect panel and that's screen removal mask. Uh, we used to uh, do the same thing uh, by making a mask around our subject. The worst part in all of that was we had to do the keying all around the subject and uh, we had to uh, keep tracking all the movements with frame by frame. That was a very tedious process. Uh, but with this, you can achieve it with single click. But there are some guidelines which Apple included and those guidelines are use video with static background captured using a stationary camera attached to a tripod. For example, capture a few frames of the background without the subject at the beginning or end. Additional tips, shoot in a bright, evenly lit space, preferably indoors. Maintain good contrast between subject and background. Avoid similar colors and textures. Avoid strong moving shadows on the background. Keep some space between subject and background. Avoid using complex backgrounds such as windows and back shelves. Uh, I used this effect in my previous video of Final Cut Pro for iPad. You have seen this that I have used those titles uh, on back of my head. I achieved all of this by using this effect. I did that all of a sudden and I had no plan doing it. But when I uh, clicked that effect in my uh, timeline, it worked very good. But there were some flaws uh, which I, um, you can say, neglected in that video and those were not affecting my text. So right now I want to uh, do it as per their guideline. We are going to find out uh, some uh, simple space in our studio and some complex space. So let's go with me and let's do it. This is my uh, usual corner with so many complex things. And uh, then we have this place and then this place as well. I have to take out everything here. And then I have this corner as well. I mean, this is too much of a work for me to do. And then I have this wall. This wall is perfect, I guess. What do you guys say? I'm going to set up my camera on this wall and uh, I will place my lights, my key light, my fill light, everything. I'll take out these bikes from here and let me set up this set for our screen removal mask. Okay, here we are. That's a perfect spot. I'm going to place my 35 mm and FX3, which is going to shoot me on that shot. We will put this yeah, screen removal mask. I keep forgetting the name. As they say, I have to record empty frame and then I can uh, walk into the frame. And what we are going to do with this frame and everything, we will use our sponsor. And yes, there is a sponsor for this video. Yes, the sponsor of this video is me. <laughs> Why not? Because nobody is sponsoring my videos because I have very low um, uh, viewership and uh, subscribers as well. So I'm, my name is Junaid Qureshi and I make YouTube videos and I do photography and I love technology. Here is the name of my channel and uh, you can follow me on Instagram as well. This is my Instagram handle. You can uh, follow my or like my uh, Facebook page as well. Here is the uh, uh, name of my page. Let's choose another frame, a complex frame to see how this mask works. Let's go. This could be a very good frame and uh, if we are going to uh, record it without subject and then later on I'll walk into this, I feel that maybe, maybe AI is going to detect it. Other than that, we have this usual spot. I think we will use this one right now. So let me bring my camera and uh, these lights and I'm going to lit it as per the need of my uh, frame and let's see uh, how it's going to work. Right now, I am uh, in the frame and everything is lit properly. What I'm going to do, I'll keep talking so I can run some backgrounds, uh, which Apple included in uh, Final Cut Pro new version. And I'll uh, try to run some titles as well on my back. So, so we can see how this thing works. And later on, right after recording this, we will put everything in the system. Uh, we will do it on Final Cut Pro for Mac. And I'll show you how you can achieve this and how everything is going to work and how AI is going to take our empty frames and filled frames. So let's jump into the computer. Yes. So here it is. I have copied every single media in my library and I have created scene removal mask project as well and uh, imported both the clips which we shot for this purpose. So the first clip, I have already color corrected everything. Uh, you must be noticing, or maybe if you are not, that I haven't added any layer on top of my footage because I directly put LUD and color correction on the footage. 
there is a reason behind it i'll tell you later on in this video so here it is we have the, everything said this is me talking and then the other shot in both these footages you see first frame is blank so let's open our effects panel and scroll down and select mask and key and here we have this screen removal mask if i hover on it you see it's already showing me this mask is working fine the reason why it's working fine because by default it says reference first frame plus one second because we have a longer frame than last frame plus and last frame both in the first frame and in the last frame i have a blank canvas now we have everything cleared out i am on top of everything but you see i have this outer line it's so visible and when i was editing my main video i uh, accidentally resolved this as well i was copying effect from uh, one footage to another and uh, by mistake i added another screen removal mask on top of it so if i do the same you see how clean it is and i drag it on top of it without it you see and with it it's so much perfect now so what we are going to do now that we are going to add some dynamic backgrounds or pattern backgrounds which apple included right now we are dealing with the basic one with the white background things get maybe pretty change when we will do the same with this footage okay here it is it's very normal it's like green screen let's add some titles here it is this is the perfect thing you can do with this effect it's so easy especially people who don't have nice backgrounds and they always looking for green screen then they have to install that green screen behind their frame uh, just to uh, have a perfect keying now this thing is very easy with this effect in final cut pro okay we are done with this one and now let's choose this frame now when i will drop scene removal mask it's working half although i have this first frame selected but still it's not working last frame now it's working on the last frame still it's not very good we are going to try the same method which we did on this footage let's add another screen removal mask it's quite better now it's pretty good now you can see i mean this light is continuously changing other one are stationary but it's very colorful it's very bright as per their guidelines these lights shouldn't change if these lights stay static then maybe they are not going to create any problem but in our case it is so i'm giving it very good battle against our background so let's add a background and see how it works and it's not that perfect so here it is here is the screen removal mask now let's increase the size of this title so it comes on this footage as well it's pretty good but it's not very uh, uh, perfect like uh, this one uh, just the reason is obvious uh, but here uh, it's really struggling with the color okay one thing uh, i told you in the beginning that i inserted all these lots and color wheels directly on the footage not on adjustment layer the reason is whatever comes under adjustment layer then adjustment layer changes effects on every other thing let me give you a little demo okay let's copy it and paste our color wheel and lot on on it and let's turn off from here now you can see the color of this background changed it's so much darker pink now here as well you see this background is different now it's what original so that was the reason i used these effects directly on the footage so this is how it is uh, i just wanted to show you that how you can use this effect on your footage so you have seen how screen removal mask works it's unbelievable for me i tried previously to achieve the same thing uh, with my text and then um, as i have mentioned previously that i had to uh, mask around my head and have to follow and track every single movement of my head which was very very tedious but in this case you have seen obviously my uh, first shot wasn't very uh, properly lit because of the uh, reflection from the background as well it was all white and uh, i didn't expose my uh, footage properly my camera was overexposed my lights were too bright i tried to do it but anyway uh, just to give you a glimpse at how this thing works and in the other other case on this background you have seen everything works good that's amazing i mean reference is actually a thing i wasn't giving a proper reference to my video and then i select the last frame as a reference everything turned black
pretty good. So this is it for today. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next one. Till then, peace.